My name is Raghu. I'm the Isaka Regional Ambassador in India, a past member of the Isaka Global Board of Directors and Director of Versatilis Consulting. Isaka is a 50-year-old not-for-profit global organization working to advance the best talent, expertise and learning in technology, preparing professionals with knowledge, credentials such as CISA, CRIP, education and community to advance and thrive in a world where digital trust is key and where AI is taking center stage. I want to share some thoughts about AI and the future of work. William Gibson famously said, "The future is already here. It's just not evenly distributed." And I think it is so true, especially when it comes to AI. Artificial intelligence has been around us for a while now and is often why the recommendations of music, books or other entertainment made by your favorite apps seem so perfect. I also like to think that we are in the midst of an AI spring where AI adoption and growth is following what is called a J curve or going through a hockey stick growth leading to a proliferation of AI into all aspects of life especially work work as we know it of course has been changing tremendously since the pandemic and it is expected to change even more so with the rise and integration of AI in the workspace while much has been said and written about AI and the impact it will have on us as humans and humanity as a whole there is no changing the fact that AI is here to stay and that it will impact our work lives as much as it is affecting other aspects of our life if not more the bottom line is that ai will impact work even changing the very basics of what constitutes work and how humans work i want to explore this from two perspectives first from that of the enterprise and what it will mean to the enterprise and share some thoughts on the conundrum that is ai in the workplace because ai has both risks and rewards and what this will mean to the enterprise second I want to look at the influence of AI on the professional who is the employee or the worker. Initially, both the enterprise and the professional will struggle to adapt as AI enters the work environment because change takes time and sometimes the economics of AI will overwhelm the enterprise to take decisions which may come at the cost of the workforce or the professional. AI in the work environment will need a revisit of the enterprise architecture and an understanding of the risks so that the integration of AI into the enterprise leads to long term value addition. This is not going to be as simple as introducing productivity improvements tools such as word processing software or uh, spreadsheet programs into the enterprise. This is going to be much more than that. Changes may be required in all aspects of the enterprise and not just on the technology front when it comes to integrating AI into the enterprise. workflow design and workspace design will need to adapt to a new era in which humans work closely with technology and machines for example employees may need education on how ai is being used as part of the business processes and the impacts this may have on the customer because there could be a lot of frictions in all these integrations and all the people involved need to understand how to manage the friction better of course legislative and regulatory challenges abound as well Several countries, including India, are in the process of releasing guidelines on the use of AI, and enterprises will have to grapple with these guidelines as well as they work, go through integrating AI into the workspace. Enterprises will also need to transform uh, internal processes better to use AI and building checks and balances to manage the inevitable teething troubles that are bound to arise. There will be also a need for enterprises to skill, reskill, and upskill the current workforce. to ensure that hard to capture domain knowledge uh, gained over years by its personnel and staff is not lost by the introduction of ai into the value chain now mit research indicates that from a work perspective uh, specialized ai systems tend to be task oriented that is they execute limited set of tasks more than the full set of activities constituting an occupation so everything that a accountant does for example or an office administrator does or a sales person does may not get taken out by ai but though even that that may be in the pipeline as well what this means for for the work environment of course is that ai initially may play a very specialized role bringing in the much needed expertise and skills to a wider range of roles and reducing the need for highly skilled individuals to do activities which may be considered dreary or boring like say repeatedly crunching numbers or doing repetitive tasks already ai is being integrated into tasks that sometimes are difficult for people to handle such as customer service and the impacts on both the enterprise and the customer are very positive as ai evolves it will enable humans to move higher up in the value chain so the decision making rests with the human which will lead the human in the chain to have a different set of skills 
which can also probably be developed and honed using AI as a learning tool. This means that the enterprise will increasingly rely on collecting data and ensuring its quality, while also ensuring that humans are involved at the right decision-making points in the value chain. For example, AI tools could be trained to thoroughly study X-ray images and present their findings to a human radiologist or a doctor who then takes the decision. Or financial data may be crunched by a tool with AI built in to identify patterns of fraud probably before they occur so that decisions can be made on those kinds of things. Over time, this will also evolve and AI will eventually do more the run-of-the-mill tasks while very unique use cases or situations especially those that have not occurred historically or for those where there is no precedent in the data will come to a human for decision making. Now let's move on to what AI in the workplace means to the worker or the employee or the professional and what the worker or for that matter what all of us can do to remain relevant in the coming times. AI is already handling a number of mundane tasks that were performed by humans, uh, freeing precious human time that could probably be used elsewhere more productively, adding to the bottom lines, solving problems, even improving customer experience, not to mention preventing employee burnout. Enterprises are already increasingly using AI to improve productivity so that IT does not just provide a solution, but one that is innovative and solves end user problems. AI tools are also being used to better train employees. And this is the conundrum that I was talking about. On one side, it looks like the tool is going to take away jobs. On the other side, it's also making employees better at what they're doing and give them feedback, which can provide performance. And in some cases, when AI is integrated with tools used as part of work, there are improvements in the quality of work as well. For example, we can already see AI getting integrated into word processing software and even to email solutions. And the impact of that is uh, fantastic. AI can also help in amplifying creativity, which is the key aspect humans bring to work, I think. And by taking the drudgery out of work, AI can bring tremendous positive impact. Now, while enterprises are working to integrate AI and the capabilities it brings into the enterprise, I believe professionals should not be left behind. Both the enterprise and the professional have a role to play. I want to focus on what the professional can do to be a successful part of the future where AI is an inevitable and integral part of work. Now, today's professionals would do well to learn and upgrade their understanding of what AI is and in what it can do in their respective fields. This is important because AI is not just a technology phenomenon. It is going to be ubiquitous, affecting all parts of the organization, all jobs. So it could do something that a sales professional is doing, a HR professional is doing, a finance professional is doing, the list goes on. This will help employees prepare themselves to use AI tools and technologies in the workplace better. Organizations like Isaka offer courses providing an overview of AI, which can build a strong foundation on the fundamentals of AI. Seasoned professionals uh, should also learn about AI, especially the risks and challenges of using AI in the enterprise. They should focus on the governance challenges that arise when AI is being used and what should be done for the safe, secure and effective integration of AI into business processes. The bottom line is that professionals need to reskill, upskill, and sometimes even simply keep themselves updated when it comes to AI and its uses. Now, considering all the voices and predictions from the experts in the field, I like to think that professionals and for that matter, enterprises will do well to adopt a very open approach to AI. There is no doubt that AI is changing and will continue to change the very fabric of work. But the professional who will survive and thrive will be the one who I think takes a complementary approach, a partnership approach and adapts to this bold new world where AI is a tool to use, a work partner or even a colleague to work with and not an adversary to compete with. I don't think it's going to be us versus them. I think it's going to be us and them. Thank you. Thank you for your time.